Hello, and thank you for taking a moment to learn about our suggested procedures for purging with Dynapurge, specifically for performing a resin or color change with an extrusion blown film machine. We will review the instructions for maintaining a bubble. Before we get started, a note about safety. Before performing any procedure, it is the machine operator's responsibility to be aware of their company's safety policy, to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, and to make sure that only authorized personnel are in the affected area. Now let's begin the procedure. Thoroughly clean the hopper and material feed system, as well as any auxiliary feeding equipment, ensuring all components are cleaned. Maintain the barrel temperature and RPM settings for your resident resin. Increase the temperatures on the die, adapter, flow tubes, and any other downstream heating elements by 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees C, to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 C. Note, please do not exceed recommended temperature ranges for your resident resin or equipment. Begin to empty the barrel, and when the resident resin is below the feed throat, introduce Dynapurge at one to two times barrel capacity into the empty hopper or side port. Please note that the actual amount needed depends on your machine conditions. Inspect the screen pack for contamination and replace if necessary. Purge through the die opening until Dynapurge appears in the film. Slow down the process and open the air ring to increase the wall gauge. If necessary, you may also adjust the airflow to stabilize the bubble. Please note that due to the high viscosity of the purge, in some cases you may wish to blend Dynapurge with your production resin in order to maintain the bubble. Continue purging until the purge is clean and free of contamination. Thoroughly clean the hopper and adjust temperature settings for your next production resin. Using your next production resin, post purge or flush out the remaining Dynapurge. If applicable, install a new screen pack and readjust the settings to achieve the production gauge. Now you're ready to start your next production run.